Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to World Cup Fantasy Football. I hope you guys enjoy the World Cup because I am loving it so far. And I thought I'll make a catch-up video, a very quick catch-up video. Because I did a live stream yesterday, a lot of the information is in that video. So, as you can see, my overall rank is 1,267. Wow. With your help, guys, you guys have helped me so much with your suggestions and comments and following and stuff like that. And I hope I help someone out there win their mini leagues. So, it's going really well. I just hope I can maintain this. I don't feel I can stick um, to 1,000 or even below that because my team is a mess. So, just a quick little round up. As you can see, I got 62 points. Now, I had three transfers. And um, if you followed me on Twitter, basically, I showed you guys what I'm going to be doing. I bought in for the free transfer, Sheryshev, um, Pavard, and William. Now, I just wanted to go for a risk. I wanted to bring in players that not many people have or they changed over. So, I basically wanted to try something different. And look at the Sheryshev with a goal. Beautiful goal, by the way. The French um, defender keeping that clean sheet and William just didn't work out. Now, instead of him, I would have Rakitic and it's the same thing from him. He didn't do much as well. So I did use the maximum captain. It did help a lot. Griezmann with nine, Hazard with two, uh, Kane with two, Sheriff scoring at one the goal. Modric, like we said before, he takes um, the, some of the corners and free kicks. Coutinho with an assist with a five points, getting that beautiful assist. If you've seen it, watch it again, guys. It's really good. Hassan with two, Cranwist with one, um, Pavard with six, and Maguire. Scored a goal, kept the clean sheet, minus one, but 11 altogether. Oh my god. Oh man, what a game! What a game! So, my maximum captain actually went to Maguire with 22 points, boosted me up. Goldine with one, Manure with one, and William with one here. So, did well in the quarterfinals. And this is the ranking that I got so far. I don't think I can maintain. I can't get that under 1,000 because my team is a mess. So for the semi-final, a lot of people are thinking to wildcard. Now, I don't have the wildcard. I've got no more chips left. So I need to use these five transfers wisely. Now, I could go for the, the, the high-owned players. But I do want to have one or two that is a differential, something different that can probably boost me up to even more further. So we have got five transfers to play around with. Now, obviously you want to remove the high owned or the high priced players because they're going to be more expensive and you want to try and use the money as much as you can. So we got Coutinho, got to get rid of Coutinho, William, Goldine, which is 5.8, which is quite expensive. Uh, maybe the goalkeeper as well. So I'm going to have to pick out another extra player. Now, the, the players I'm thinking of, now this is not 100%, guys. This is not 100%, and this is bound to change. Just follow me on Twitter if you want to see any of the changes. You let me know in the comments below who you think I should bring in just to have that differential player. Something that, if he scores, might you know boost me up a little bit more. Because I can fit in 11 players, but I won't have a bench unless I go for a minus four. And if you have any really good option for that, let me know as well. So the players that I'm thinking of right now is Pickford in goal. And uh, let me have a quick look. So Belgium, I want to go for De Bruyne because he's just been incredible last game. And if he is playing up front, then it, there's, he's going to cause a lot of trouble. Um, I do want to bring in, I do want to bring in a Belgium defender, uh, not many people actually got, and that is Vincent Company, 2.7 million, yes, this is all a risk, we don't know who's going to win, but I'm going to go for it, I want to go for it, I want to get players that it's not been high owned, and he has been amazing since he came back, plus some of the corners that has been happening, he's, he's getting to them, he's, he's, he's getting them chances, so I want to bring in um, Vincent Company in and maybe a French defender as well. The one that who scored last game, 
So this guy here, so I could just get rid of this um, Sweden player and bring this beautiful player that scored. So I have 8 million to spend. Um, I could go for Croatian players, but I want to double up. I want to triple up and I want to go with the English players here. And I'm looking to someone like Lingard, which is quite cheap. So I have right now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 players to play for the semi-final. I use all the transfers. I might, I might take that minus four point because I did gain a lot of points in the last round and go for something that, um, I don't know, I could, I could go and get Kante if I wanted, but I need to make sure that he's going to bring something. So I could do something like this, but it doesn't really look good to actually bring Kante. If I were you and you have this kind of problem, bring in players that you think is going to score or assist don't bring in players that's going to keep you that clean sheet just get something that is going to that takes free kicks set pieces and stuff like that now i wanted to make this quick video just to give you guys an update and that is about it and i'll let you guys know in my twitter account what i'm going to be doing anyways guys that's it for now it's been an incredible incredible world cup i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope my suggestions and tips helped you guys and rank up a little bit more higher thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you did come give this a like come subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time see ya